She sent me the most gorgeous banana bread that I think I've ever seen. So right now, I'm gonna book a flight. It's $355. We're about to find out if it was worth traveling well over 2,000 miles. I might just end up going to Tijuana right now, who knows? Just to get a taste of this banana bread. I mean, is it safe to give you that? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, are you kidding me? All that traveling has led up to this moment. So half of my family, which would be my cousin and my aunt, live in Chicago. The other half of my family live here in California. Now, I don't know if you guys do this, but something we like to do in our family is flex the food that we eat to each other. For example, in my family group chat, we have cottage cheese pancakes. We've got some meat here with potatoes, pickles. We got some radishes fresh out of the garden. Sometimes we're not just flexing a single dish, we're flexing the whole table. For Christmas, my family in Chicago send us their little dinner table. It's a pretty nice dinner table, but we, we had to follow it up and flex back, boom. So it's a never ending competition here. We're always flexing our food. But another thing that long distance families do is that they joke about flying over for the stupidest reasons. In our case, we flex a dish and we say, ha, fly over and eat some. And then, you know, it goes something like, ha ha, yeah, I'm, I'm on my way and nothing ever happens. However, last night I received a text message from my cousin in Chicago. She sent me one of my most favorite dishes ever. She sent me the most gorgeous banana bread that I think I've ever seen. And she follows up the photo with fly over bumblebee. I am making banana bread. Banana emoji, bread emoji, exclamation, exclamation. And it got me thinking, what if I actually did fly over? After all, it is banana bread, one of my most favorite dishes. And you know what? I think it's worth the flight. So right now, I'm gonna book a flight. How am I gonna get this on that side? Opa. Boom. Okay, flies from San Diego to ship. Chicago. Spirit Airlines, 10 hours, 32 minutes from $537. What? We got one for $88. Holy shit. Spirit Airlines, you are a blessing. 10 hours, 32 minutes. Why is that so long? Returning back at 16 hours. What? So I would go from San Diego to Las Vegas, Las Vegas to Houston, Texas, and then Houston, Texas to Chicago. What What kind of flight is that? I, I just want my banana bread. I don't want to stop in Vegas. I don't want to stop in Houston. All right, looks like my next best alternative, $400. Once again, two stops. 22 hours? What? Looks like this banana bread isn't going to come to me cheap. I might have to fly from LA instead of San Diego. I'll be right back when I find a decent deal. So the cheapest flight that I could find that doesn't stop in every single city along the way is $355 from Los Angeles to Chicago. Non-stop, it is a round trip. So that's pretty expensive, but it's for banana bread, so it's obviously worth it. I just need to find a sponsor for this video really quick. So I'm gonna call up my buddy Ian from SeatGeek, see what he can help me with. This man's giving David Dobrik a lot of money. I, I can get at least 400 from this guy. Oh, hey Ian, Um, so I have a flight that I have to get to um, and it seems like it's gonna cost about $400. And I was wanting to see if we could do any kind of sponsorship for the video. I just wanna hear your thoughts. Uh, hold on, are you, who's this? Uh, this is Brandon. Okay, you're calling at McDonald's? Oh, this is McDonald's. I think you got the wrong number. My apologies. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, okay. have a good day. Hmm. Looks like I'm on my own then. However, if you guys could just like and share the video, I'd really appreciate that. $400 just to go to Chicago and uh, eat banana bread. I whipped out my wallet and entered in my information and then officially booked my flight. Okay, the flight booked. Next, I need to reserve my parking spot at the airport. I once again filled in my information, made a quick phone call to the company just to address some concerns. I'm thinking I'll probably be there around like 11. And successfully reserved the parking spot for the next five days. Next, it was time to pack my luggage. But right before I started packing, I got the most perfectly timed text from my cousin, showing the scrumptious final product of the banana bread, with a second text saying, please fly over for some banana bread. Just book the ticket, see you soon. Mm. Mm. Little do they know. <sighs> Let's pack. Here's what popped up in my Instagram feed when I woke up. Staying home will slow the spread of COVID-19 and will without a doubt save lives. Critical things like food, 
If you do leave home, keep six feet between you and others. There is absolutely no virus that will get in my way of eating banana bread. Well, except for the stomach flu. I, I kind of don't like throwing up. But I will respect everyone's concerns and wear a mask as well as practice social distancing to the best of my ability. Banana bread, you will be mine soon. to the shuttle. Damn it, my water bottle. Might just end up going to Tijuana right now, who knows. Traveling during a pandemic is quite an interesting experience to say the least. Potentially the most stale bread I've ever eaten. After traveling an entire day, I'm finally here. My family still has zero clue that I just traveled to Chicago, so I'm gonna call a lift and make my way over to their home to surprise them. Time to call my cousin. Uh, nothing much. Um, hey, do you remember the other day you told me about like that banana bread and then you said like fly over and all, you know? Yeah, what about it? Well, I'm outside your place and I'm expecting some bomb banana bread. Sure you are. Okay. I, I actually am out right outside of your apartment right now. Okay, <laughs> come outside of your balcony. Um, yeah, you're not here. There's uh, no one here. Skyler, right here. <gasps> what the heck? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Just buzz me in really quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My aunt was actually still on the way home when I arrived, which gave me enough time to set up for a surprise. This is how we're going to surprise my aunt. I'm going to be sitting at this table with this hoodie on facing this way. So when she walks in, this is what she's gonna see. And then we'll see if she figures it out. The camera's right here. Lapis! Welcome home! How was it? <laughs> What's up, Gitana? <Gitarra? laughs> Happy birthday! Are you for real right now? I yes, extremely for real. I mean, is it safe to give you one? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Surprise my family, check. Now that all the fun is out of the way, it's time to get down to business. We're about to find out if it was worth traveling well over 2,000 miles and spending over $10 on a stale sandwich just to get a taste of this banana bread. Wish me luck. It is officially the next day. Oh, it's already sliced. Almost as if it was waiting for some guy from California to come eat it. Ladies and gentlemen, I pick up the fork, stab it nicely. All that traveling has led up to this moment. Damn, that's good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that's good. Mm. Mm. That, my friends, is exquisite. Oh my gosh. The milk is most definitely the cherry on top. Well worth the trip. I would fly another six times just to get another taste of this banana bread. You know, there's something else that's equally as incredible as this banana bread. And you know what? You yourself, you don't have to fly 2,000 miles to it. You can access it with a click of your finger. Boom, right there, one single click. I went to a 100 different stores and I asked for free stuff from every single store. I got an insane amount of free stuff, including a free chiropractic adjustment. So check it out and also consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get to 50,000 subscribers.
Peace.